Hi, this is Dave Young, and today I'm going to show a use case of how a multi-board design can be used with a wire harness and a custom motor part. In this case, we'll use the Kame multi-board project of a quadcopter. You can see there's multiple board modules already added with direct connections, and here we have added a custom motor component that will be connected directly to the main PCB. You can see all the things already exist with a lot of complexity in one place, which is one of the strengths of multi-board projects. But we want to add this wiring diagram in between the power distribution board and the custom motor component. We're going to take a look at the use case where we already have a wire harness designed. So in this case, we have all these things put in here with particular names, and we need to make sure that we synchronize everything we place here on our multi-board schematic document with the wiring diagram. So that would be names of connections and also the wire harness designator. So in this case, we're going to check that H1 is exactly what it needs to be when we place a wire harness. That'll allow all of the design reuse, which is such a big feature in Altium Designer's multi-board designs. So here we're going to start placing our harness. We'll place each wire individually, but we want it all to be on the same harness. So for instance, this might look like I'm shorting all these wires, but really what I'm doing is I'm defining how all the connections are made inside of one wire harness named H underscore one. Okay. So everything here is connected and we've defined it as H1, H underscore one. Since the designator of this harness is so important in making the link between the harness here and the harness project, let's double check that we have the right designator. So in project outputs, we can see harness designator is indeed H underscore one. So we can move on and start designing, defining the designators of each of the entries and also the parts that we're going to use. So this would be the part that would be in the harness. And we want to make sure that the, once again, the designator has to match exactly with the wire harness project and the part here, we're going to want to make sure it matches as well. So these are parts that are previously selected. It matches with our wiring diagram. We, you can see the designator all matches. Everything looks good. So we're going to carry on and speed up this video to show how all of these different connections can be made. All the entries can be defined in the same way as the wire harness. Again, if you were doing this from scratch, you wouldn't have to bother with making things match. But since we already have a wire harness created, it's super helpful to leverage design reuse. Excellent. So now we've got all of the connections made. We're going to need to define all of the connections from one to the other. Since this just looks like one big net, Altium wasn't really sure. I could probably have been a little bit more clever with how I connected them to give Altium a better chance at automatically making connections intelligently. But I wanted to make sure I showed that each of these connections can be uniquely set. So you can see this was not automatically defined correctly. So we're just going to delete a lot of these groups. The first one looks good, H underscore 1.1. That shows us the connection that we want, but the rest of these connections are, are no good. So uh, we're going to delete them all, and then we're going to manually create them. Now, one of the keys here when adding new connections is noticing that when we have the drop down menu that you can't select the same connection in the front column from column as you can in the two column so you have to be careful about that if you look for h underscore one dash p3 when you're connecting to h underscore one dash p3 it won't show up so if you're missing a connection that's probably why you want to be mindful that all of your connections are available you don't want to connect something to itself this would be another time where we want to make sure that the design that we're creating in the MD, M multi-board project schematic is going to match what our wiring diagram has. Again, if we are doing it first in the multi-board schematic and then creating a wiring diagram from scratch using this, then it wouldn't matter so much that everything matches exactly. Thankfully, with the link between 
H underscore one harness existing, anything we change on this will then be propagated forward into the wire harness every time we import from the project above. Okay, with all of these connections set, we can feel like we have everything defined as it's supposed to be. This should all match. To be positive, we'll import changes. And there we have it. No con comparator conflicts. There's nothing to import. So we're all set. Now let's take the use case where we might not have had everything defined in our wire harness or nothing at all. Let's take the example where that one connection is not defined. So we delete it and we import from changes and we can see because we have everything linked that all of that data still comes back in. So then we just have to put our wire parameters back in by copying one that already exists. We can check import design changes. There's nothing different. So once again, we are able to show that whether you have an existing wire harness or not, you can use it with multi-board designs. To recap, we just integrated an existing wire harness project into a multi-board design. This is a handy tool to make sure all the information for a multi-board design stays in one place, including the wire harness and all of its bill materials information. I hope you try it for yourself. This is Dave Young, and as always, keep building.